Dempsey's next title defense is against Tommy Gibbons in a poorly attended match that brought financial ruin to the town that staged the fight, Shelby, Montana. 4th of July, 1923. An utter shock to any promoter, those many thousands of empty seats surrounding the ring. Dempsey and Gibbons get their final instructions from the referee as the crowd eagerly waits for the title fight to begin. Gibbons tests the traction in the center of the ring. A fine boxer like Tommy wants that canvas to be extremely taut. Now, just moments away from the start of round one. Both fighters touch gloves as this world heavyweight championship fight gets underway. Gibbons ties Dempsey up immediately. Tom knows Dempsey's style of steamrolling his opponents in the first two minutes of round one. No secret that Jack Dempsey's interpretation of a good performance is the fight he ends prior to round two. As the referee breaks the clinch, Dempsey lands three crisp left hooks to the body. The same left hooks that fractured three ribs of heavyweight champion Jess Willard four years ago, when Dempsey won the heavyweight championship in Toledo, Ohio. Dempsey is putting tremendous pressure on Gibbons here in round one. Jack's trying viciously to get in the big punch to end it, as he's done so many times in the past six years. In rounds two and three, Dempsey relentlessly pursued Gibbons all over the ring. But Tommy slipped and ducked the champion's big guns, using all of the brilliant defensive tactics, which have made him one of the most respected boxers of the era. Dempsey in white, Gibbons in black. Tommy turned pro in 1911, 12 years ago. He's had 92 fights, losing only two decisions during his entire professional career. Gibbons, never knocked off his feet, is widely regarded as the finest boxer in the heavyweight division. end of round four. Gibbons has effectively neutralized Dempsey's attempt to get him out of there with one big punch. But Tommy has a long way to go. Gibbons took round six from the champion. Tommy landed effectively while continuing to be an elusive target to the champion's left-hand bomb. Dempsey throws two vicious left-right combinations at Gibbons. Jack isn't accustomed to seeing his opponent still standing after taking any one of those particular blasts. Dempsey wants this to be lucky round seven. He's putting constant pressure on the challenger, and Tommy tries desperately to tie up the champion and then get away. Champion in white. Watch Jack attack again with more bone-crushing punches. The referee tries to separate the two men, but he's having his problems.
Dempsey jumps in with a blistering right hand to the head, and Gibbons finds himself halfway out of the ring. Round seven comes to an end with Gibbons surprising everyone with his brilliant defense. Rounds eight, nine, and ten were all Dempsey. Gibbons effectively tied up the champion periodically, but it's Jack who lands all the effective punches. Challenger Gibbons in the dark trunks. There were hundreds of little towns like Shelby, Montana in 1923, but it took the courageous businessmen of Shelby to offer the champion the unheard of guarantee of $300,000 to defend his title in their little oil town. Their purpose was to put Shelby, Montana on the map. They succeeded, but unfortunately, the exorbitant guarantee practically bankrupted the town after the fight was over. Round 11 has been another session with Gibbons effectively boxing and tying up the champion. Here at the end of the round, Tommy is still in there, but he's way behind on points. Rounds 12, 13, and 14 were all Dempsey's. Jack continues to press Gibbons all over the ring, but couldn't land that one big punch to take Tommy out. The fighters touch gloves for the 15th and final round. Just three more minutes and Gibbons will have gone the distance achieving the distinction of being the first challenger to carry Dempsey to the 15-round limit. Jack continues to try for a knockout. It appears the master boxer is going to do it. This is Tommy's 103rd fight, and he's yet to be knocked off his feet. He's given away 15 pounds to the dynamite-punching Jack Dempsey, which very few boxing experts believed he could do. Tommy holds on now. Less than a minute to go, and he's determined to hang in there. The fighters will momentarily be completely lost to our cameraman, who can't follow the action to the extreme left corner. But if you look closely, you can see the shadows of the fighters on the canvas. It's all over. The referee raises the hand of Jack Dempsey, awarding the champion a 15-round decision. Just 20 minutes later, Jack Dempsey and his manager, Jack Doc Kearns, were on a train leaving town after grabbing the last $56,000 left in the till. So on July 4th, 1923, the far-sighted businessmen of Shelby, Montana, made their indelible impression on boxing history, but not without paying a tremendous price.